this week's territory review, where we will be reviewing Colonel Hawk, or as his file card says, G.I. Joe Hawk, with the misprint of calling him a general on here, but, you know, it's relatively on point, and I hope everybody enjoyed their Thanksgiving, but, uh, let's get on to our shout outs of the week, before we get to Hawk. Starting with Back to the Media at 41 South Loudoun Street here in lovely Winchester, Virginia. And as you see by the picture right there, they do sell video games and systems. Going all the way back from the Atari, all the way up to current systems. As well as other forms of media as in VHS, DVD, Blu-ray, um, records, CDs, cassettes, you know, they got it all over there. And um, while you're in that neighborhood, go over to 115 South Loudoun Street. On the other side of the splash pad, the Time Traveler Toys and Collectibles. See Sir Charles and Mr. Jack. And uh, see what kind of toys they have. Toys and collectibles and comics and whatnot. And I did a walk uh, walkthrough a couple months ago. You know, if you scroll back to my uh, through my videos, you can actually find it. So, and you can see what they, what they carry. For all your comic book needs, go to Four Color Fantasies. If I'm not dropping the uh, business card here, go to Four Color Fantasies at 80 Weems Lane here in Winchester, Virginia, right near uh, Buffalo Wild Wings, where you get new titles, back issues, role playing, collector supplies, gaming cards, you know, and whatnot. And if you're informed in need of any kind of counseling, you know, such as marital counseling, premarital counseling, or just your run of the mill, Everyday counseling. Go to Healing Grace Counseling Services, Reaching Hearts and Changing Lives, which is at 133 West Baskowin Street, Suite Number 10. And see Robert C. Brown, licensed uh, professional counselor. Go ahead and check him out. You know, he's very easy to talk to. I had him on the show earlier this month. But let's take a look at uh, Hawk, starting with his file card, where it says General, which anybody that knows. About this hawk, uh, he was a colonel at this, when this figure was released in 1982. And uh, it says, General, codename, G.I. Joe Hawk. File name, Abernathy Clayton M. Primary military specialty is a strategic command operations. Secondary military specialty is artillery. Birthplace is Denver, Colorado. And... Uh, his grade is a 06 Major General, or 08 Major General. Uh, but, you know, like I said, you know, when they first came out with this figure, he was actually a colonel. You know, so, uh, but we'll go with General. It says, when G.I. Joe Hawk orders his men in the battle, he stands in front of them to lead the way. He believes that a general should be among his men, showing them how to fight, how to fight, and how to win. Under his command, soldiers learn to be uh, courageous. Sorry, I had an itch. De uh, to be courageous defenders of peace. Comrades and enemies alike call him by his nickname Hawk. A West Point graduate and two-star general, he has seen plenty of action in, in conflicts around the world. It was Hawk who led the G.I. Joe team on their first assault on Cobra Island. His troops know, know he won't ask them to do anything he isn't willing to do himself. That's why they are willing to do anything he tells them. The quote at the bottom says, I am proud to lead the finest fighting force in the world. Together we will defeat Cobra, the Cobra organization, and put an end to its evil plans. You know, this really does speak a lot for Hawk. You know, he is a courageous guy. But let's start with his uh, accessories. Where you see the upraised G.I. Joe logo here on his figure stand. Codenamed G.I. Joe Hawk. He also comes with his helmet with visor. Which is similar to Grand Slam and Flash. Because they all had the same helmet. Um, he has his assault rifle. Which is pretty decent. Kind of like a AK I think. But you know it's very close. But you know it's. You know it's kind of his own thing. But it's pretty cool. He also has his little pistol, 
which is uh, both molded in black plastic. Plus, he's got his knife, which is silver blade with a black handle. No, pretty cool looking knife. So let's take a look at Hawk. You know, and this is how Hawk first appeared in GI Joe media with blonde hair, you know, Caucasian skin tone, uh, for his face and neck and ears and whatnot. Green uniform, black uh, grip gear, silver knife uh, sleeve. Or like a greenish, uh, well, it's like a silver. It, it's actually silver. My bad. You know, kind of half sleep. And then uh, he's got his. Uh, I don't know what that is right there on his leg, but there's his pistol holder right there on his web gear. This whole uniform is like a dark green with the black boots. So let's take a look at his articulation. His head can rotate a full 360. His arm can lift up to here and rotate the full 360 all the way around. He can bend at the elbow full 90 degrees, rotate at the elbow a full 90 degrees, and uh, rotate at the wrist a full 180 degrees. You know, his arm uh, biceps level is 380. Oh, 360. He does uh, have the ab crunch feature, which is somewhat seen, but, you know, the web gear is still there. His legs can do almost a partial split. His leg can lift back to there. Double knee joint. Uh, yeah, he got the double knee joint, double knee bend. His ankle can... Uh, pivot as well as swivel a full 360. Let's just take a look at his. Uh, let's take a look at Colonel Hawk or General Hawk here in uh, battle gear. So here is Hawk in full battle gear, uh, ready to go into uh, taking his troops into battle. When Hawk was this Hawk was uh, first released in the vintage figure, he was released with the uh, with the flat cannon. Or not the flat cannon, but he was with the the Howl cannon, I believe. Uh, they sold him as a vehicle driver, but he was the colonel. Um, he makes his first comic book appearance in the original Marvel run in this uniform uniform in issue number one. He didn't make his GI Joe appearance until he was actually a general in the season two opener, part one of the. Uh, Arise to Petor or Arise five part miniseries where he was in general in his version two outfit with the general's jacket. You know, but it was it was kinda cool to see the Hulk finally make his uh cartoon debut. Uh this version of Hawk was actually sold in a two back with Scarlet. And the Scarlet that he came with I'm actually showing in March as I do my fourth women's month. You know, hey, way yay yay women. <laughs> but uh this hawk was actually pretty cool you know good to see him in a military uniform other than outside of his uh other stuff but to see a um vintage review of him you can go to hcc 788 as well as form bx257 um you can see sanitarium productions for the for this version uh as well as a few others so go ahead and check them out um, I would write this figure as a top tier figure, you know, because this really shows Hawk really getting into gear, really getting into uh, leading the troops into battle. Hawk has always been one of my favorite characters, uh, so I would definitely keep Hawk as a top tier figure. And he is a must buy for any G.I. Joe uh, enthusiast. You got to have a leader for your G.I. Joes, you can't go uh, leaderless. But uh, so go ahead and check him out, you know. He had a couple great stories like in the comic book, like being the one to go pick up Snake Eyes at uh when he got off the plane from from Vietnam, you know, to have to deliver the message of Snake Eyes' his family, his mom, dad, and twin sister were dead. You know that had to be hard for him to do. But you know, it was, but he also had some great, great cartoon appearances uh, in both the Sunbow and the Deke animated series. Great appearances in the uh, 
the in the uh, comic book, especially where he led the assault uh, on Cobra Island, you know, with the Cobra Civil War. That was pretty cool. You know, there's a lot of good stories with Colonel Hawk. But tune in next week as we do another Joe Month. But this time I'm going to do a very special shout out with the uh, first responders and anybody in the medical field as we do Lifeline. You know, and uh, I kind of like this version of Lifeline. You know, and I hope everybody got the chance to speak of which I hope everybody got the chance to see my Thanksgiving video on Quinn the Tracker. You know, it's pretty cool to have, uh, to have Quinn and have him as a, as a figure. But Lifeline is next week's review as we go into December. The pessimist. Or pacifist. Well, you know, but uh, it's good to see him, see a Lifeline fi updated Lifeline figure. You know, but uh, for my to see the review on this one, we get you got to check us out next Tuesday. But this has been Colonel Hawk. You know, thanks for taking this time out to watch this review. See y'all in the next one. And as for 